Welcome to my 2017-2018 classroom tour. So I'm in a new section of the building. I was in the main building last year, but I'm in a new classroom this year. There are only four classrooms in this section of the building. So the first thing that you'll notice is this Be Nice periodic table poster. I actually had an eight by 10 last year, but I blew it up this year and I placed it into a frame outside my classroom. There was a whiteboard that was hanging here, but then it fell down and it's in my classroom right now and I just never put it back up. So as you walk into my classroom, the lights off and I have the lights off because I wanted to show you the lighting in the back. So last year I had lighting similar to the lighting here underneath my cabinet space and I wanted to recreate that this year. So I had two sides, so I did the exact same thing. The lava lamps make an, an appearance. Let me put my keys down. They make an appearance this year. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them back here in the lab. I have not decided. Um, and that's because the shelving that they were on last year, it was sitting sideways. This year I decided to stand it up. And then I have lighting right there in the middle on that middle wall. And I should mention that my classroom is not 100% complete. Between moving out of the old classroom, cleaning that one, moving to this classroom and having to clean out this classroom, I just was tired and my room was not 100% before the start of school. So as you can see with this blank bulletin board and that one over there. So this is where I'm envisioning doing a flexible seating guideline poster because I am going to implement flexible seating as the school year progresses. As students walk in, they grab their interactive notebooks. It's on this trapezoid table that I was able to get from another teacher at the beginning of the school year. Um, so I'm gonna use this trapezoid table as one of my flexible seating options. But the students, they grab their interactive notebook that are color-coded by period. So there's a piece of duct tape and a ribbon, and it's also color-coded by um, the hall tickets that I give them in order for them to leave the classroom. You'll also notice that there are tennis balls on the bottom of the table legs. I was able to go to a local ten tennis center. I call them up and ask, hey, can I, you know, do you have any balls that you donate? And they're like, yeah, come take as many as you need. So I took as many as I needed, plus a few extra. And it just makes it easier. So when I've had that, when I have to move the tables, I can just slide the tables instead of picking them up. If you also notice, I do not have a teacher desk. That was the first thing that I got rid of when I moved into this classroom, or actually when I came into the classroom the last day of school, last school year. So I guess if I had a teacher area, it would be over there. This is called an innovation station, and I had one in my classroom last school year. While I can move it, it is connected by this cord into this wall, so it has to stay in this general area. This is where I teach, it's connected to a projector, which projects right here. It has an audio system, the audio comes through there, so if I want to use this Bluetooth microphone, can you hear me? Um, which I use it all the time. It just makes it easier to give instructions to the students that can hear me. Um, there's my document camera. Let me close this. So I have this extra table where right now I just have stuff on there. This is the whiteboard I was talking about that was outside the room. Here I have a printer. Here's my seven drawer system. I spray painted it last year, but it got chipped when I was moving things into this classroom. I recreated this drawer system similar to the drawer system that I have in my home office. So post-it notes, I got this from the container store. The white cups I got from the Dollar Tree, three for a dollar. And I just put like Sharpies, flare pins, and markers in them. Same thing down here. However, I decided to repurpose this ice cream or sorbet that I eat all the time to Lenti. So I have the lid still, but it's great for holding markers and glue sticks and other things. Here's the shelving unit that I had in my lava lamps last year, but it was turned sideways or horizontally. Here are my gadgets. I have some plants, yearbook, just some other stuff that I've graded. We have a roach and a rat problem, so I have to tighten and seal my food away. Here's another organization system that I have. I showed this last year, I think the blue and the clear cubes. Um, 
in my desk last school year. And this expandable drawer system I got from the Dollar, not Dollar Tree, I'm sorry, from the container store about four years ago. And just here's some other stuff. I don't know what I really want to do with this area yet. I was thinking about putting some scientist pictures, but I haven't decided that. Here's my name, so if students forget, you can look up there. So this is something that I wanted to create that is similar to um, how I have something designed at home. I have this metal frame with the vines going up it. However, I saw that this rounded out to create like this 3D effect, so I put some lights behind it. And so the vines, I'm gonna fix going up. And so I have that right there. This is another area for flexible seating. Um, I don't think I talked about student desk. So I have seven student groups of four and each of them has um, a container. This group didn't fix theirs before they left. So there are markers in here, color pencils, highlighters, scissors, glue, and they all this time have calculators, which I didn't have last year. So um, each of them have one of those and even that table or that little section has a box as well because some of my classes have 30 students, and so some students sit right there, but that is gonna be a flexible seating area. The bar stools I got um, at the summer before last school year, because two of my friends were moving to Dallas, and they were just moving at the same time, so they rented a U-Haul and they shared it, and one of my friends, he wasn't able to fit those in, so I was like, I'll take them. Here I have my large periodic table poster, recreated something similar to the bulletin board that I had last, last year, my last classroom. Again, the posters I had, I, the 8x10s, I blew them up and I put them into frames. I still have my Instagram poster from Teach, Create, Motivate. I remember her name. Um, I will put the link down to the store, but the students still ask me about this poster. Is that how many followers you have? I mean, it's just a great way with the student work. They can see some of my former students. And then, I didn't show you up here. I took the pictures that I had last year in the student work and I placed them up here along with the 12 by 12 colored pieces of paper to match the paintings that I did on this wall and the painting on that wall. So um, the students, like on the first day of school, like I mentioned them, they were able to see he's serious about doing work in class. I also had the sentence stems last year or at least in spring semester after I was part of an L co cohort of teachers where we would meet and I was trying out some strategies to help my L students and then also students that receive special education services. Um, just some strategies to help them be successful. So I took those sentence stems and I placed them along up here. I have 10 snarky science safety rules created by Nitty Gritty Science. So there are five up here and there are five over there. I'll place the link to her store down below. They are free. I also have the plants. Again, I'm not done because I this is what I created last year. I had the plants on top of the shelving unit, the cabinets, but it's empty up there and it's empty right there. But I'm in the process of propagating some new ones so I can place on the top. Sorry, I'm, we're in the middle of doing, they did a lab last week and they're about to do a lab practical this coming week. Um, and then I just took the books, again, similar to last year, nothing really besides the room um, and maybe the painting. I just took a lot of the same ideas that I had last school year and I did it over again. So it's, it's the books are sitting on easels and I bought those from Dollar Tree for a dollar. And so I just took some of the books that I had and I placed them up there. And I think, well, that's not it. So this mobile cart was a mess. Um, so I just reorganized it when I was cleaning out a whole bunch of stuff over the school year. And that's that. And I think that's it. I felt like I was going really quickly over my room and I feel like I may have missed something, but I want to get out of here because it's almost six o'clock. <laughs> Other than that, that is my room. So if there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below or share the video. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James.
as always thanks for watching